I can't imagine that you're a very romantic, considerate person. 5 a.m. Wake up! Oh, just go to work. Do you want to come with me? No. How do you turn this on? You don't know how to turn a kettle on? Nah. I never thought you could make me feel this shit. Marriage is about pain and suffering and enduring it happily. I want a divorce. So I just proposed to Nick. It didn't go down as smoothly as I would have liked. I'm really nervous. Will you marry me? Just say yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh no, why every time the head magnet? Head magnet. <laughs> One week, let's do this. The thing that I'm dreading the most is sleeping next to this guy for seven nights. I just, yuck. Wow. Oh shit. Wow. Huh. It's okay. I have like no feelings. It's completely cool. You, I didn't mean it like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Getting married at an early age is like leaving a party at 6pm. The fun hasn't even begun yet. It's our first date as husband and wife. Nick left without me uh, to do his own thing and that's completely fine. I respect autonomy. But in saying that, I am about to surprise him at his house. I've done so many cute little things for Nick. What? Surprise! I took him over a flower. What are you doing here? Aren't you happy to see me? It took me a long time to find that fucking flower. I took you to dinner, I paid for your dinner, and you <laughs> didn't even have to get out of the car. The only meal he took me out to was McDonald's, which he made me pay for, and I'm a vegetarian. He bought me a bottle of water on my credit card. Well, one day down. Wakey, wakey, wifey. You kidding me? Do you want? Do you want to come to work with me? No. You're gonna to have to come to work with me one morning eventually. I'm not your property just because you married me, Nick. But then, what's the point of marriage? Oh my god, she is so fucking angry at me. It's just like looking to, into the eyes of like a everyone. dragon. Yes. Mm. All right, I'll see you at work. Yes. Fuck off. So it's six thirty, and I'm on my way to work by myself because Tanya would rather stay in bed. Shit move by you, Tan. I was just trying to remember what I had to do today and then I remembered that it was marriage. So far being married to Nick hasn't changed very much. He doesn't consider me in any aspect of his life. Nick has left work without me again. It would be cool if he at least said bye. 5 a.m. wake up! Yeah, boy! Go to work. Do you want to come with me? No. Last chance to come to work. Being married to Nick is like being married to a younger, annoying brother. He's had too many red lollies and exists purely to make your life a living, agonizing hell. I wish that he would take it seriously and maybe like be nice to me. I'm gonna be a good wife and ask Nick out to lunch on a nice date. Eyebrows. Nick didn't even wait for my eyebrow appointment to finish. That was a shit high five. Just like our marriage. Mm -hmm. Things that have gone wrong in the past few days, everything. He hasn't taken me out for a single meal. He wrote one little lousy note, which was good morning wifey on my desk. He still has Tinder. One more swipe. No, Nick, that's fucking, I'm right here. You super liked her. I feel like the most insignificant ant right now. Just look at her eyes, <laughs> look at the anger. She has pure hatred for me. It's not anger, it's sadness and disappointment. This is like every breakup conversation I've ever had. That's so funny. I'm glad you can find humor in this. 5 a.m., coming to work? <laughs> so we have a work function on tonight and Nick left without me. He didn't even say bye, he didn't offer me a ride. I'm just over it. I feel really sorry for any girl that's ever dated this guy. So we have a company-wide meeting in Bondi this morning and Tanya is going to pick me up on the way because she wants to be a good wife and make my day more convenient. So I should probably put more effort into this marriage. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired.
You were you actually, are actually fired. fired. <laughs> God. God. Look, I'm a fucking idiot. I don't know why I expected anything from this guy. <laughs> we're worlds apart. This has just further reinstated everything I already knew. To expect nothing from anyone to never get married, and that I'm gay as fuck. The one thing I've taken from this marriage is effort. Now, like, from this marriage, for when I actually get married, hopefully, to do everything opposite to what I did with Tanya. That's a great we idea. We are now officially divorced. Sorry, marriage, but to me, you are the thing I want to do when I've run out of things to do with my life. You're like the last resort. At least you can get married legally in Australia. Mm -hmm. Okay.